My name's Rosemary Collier. I'm Director of Warwick Crop Centre and I'm an entomologist by training. Um, pest insects can reduce both crop yield and crop quality. And here at Warwick Crop Centre, uh, we're working on a number of the components of integrated pest control strategies for a range of pests. Um, carrot fly is one of our target pests and for this species we're currently working on um, conventional insecticides, bio-insecticides and also looking for sources of resistance to carrot fly in a whole range of carrot, carrot varieties and also wild relatives of carrot. Um, to do this work we need um, a good source of, of carrot fly and we keep our carrot fly population here in, in the field. Um, carrot flies like to live in a fairly sheltered location so this area uh, consists of a, a number of small fields surrounded by, by high hedges. Um, we sow carrots on two occasions during the year which provides the, the carrot fly larvae um, with a good supply of food um, and then they also overwinter um, in the same plots and then the flies emerge in the, in the following spring. We monitor fly numbers using um, yellow, orange sticky traps like, like this one um, and all the black objects on this, the surface here are actually um, carrot flies so we've got a pretty good infestation here. Um, the information that we collect is used to support our, our field trials um, but it's also used as additional information in the, the carrot fly um, forecast um, which is currently disseminated via the HDC Pest Bulletin and is on the, the Syngenta uh, website. Um, the sticky traps um, that we use, um, we actually orient them at, at 45 degrees to the vertical and this is because they, it makes them more selective for carrot fly. Um, and basically carrot flies like to land on the, the lower surface of traps angled in this way um, and most other species don't like to land on that surface. So it means when we come to replace our carrot fly traps and count the carrot flies, um, it's a lot easier to do it.